Ankle blocks are very useful and can get you out of a jam when sick patients present for foot surgery. There are five separate nerves that supply the foot below the ankle. Depending on the procedure and the sensory coverage required, you may need to block several or all five. Landmark-based ankle blocks aren't hard to do. They're basically a ring block of the ankle, but ultrasound confers several advantages such as the ability to visualize and avoid vascular structures, and more importantly, the ability to substantially reduce the volume of local anesthetic required. Landmark-based techniques often call for as much as 20 to 40 mils of local anesthetic. With the ultrasound guided technique, the whole thing can be accomplished with one 10 mil syringe, or even less in some cases. We see the five nerves here and their relative position about the ankle at the level of the malleoli. By far the most important nerve is the posterior tibial nerve, which innervates the sole of the foot via the plantar nerves, the toes, and much of the muscle and ligament of the foot. The other nerves contribute in the pattern shown here, and it's elegant to be able to block just the precise number of nerves you need. Okay, let's dive in. The posterior tibial nerve lives behind the medial malleolus. There are a number of other structures in the vicinity as recalled by the mnemonic Tom, Dick, and Not Harry, which stands for the tendons of the tibialis posterior and flexor digitorum longus, the posterior tibial artery and nerve, and most posteriorly, the flexor hallucis longus tendon. The probe is placed on the ankle just behind the medial malleolus. The needle can be brought in out of plane or from the posterior aspect as patient position dictates. A needle advanced from the anterior aspect almost always encounters the posterior tibular artery and veins, so it's best to avoid that approach. You can see here that the tendons look very much like nerves, so it's important to know what to look for. A good trick is to slide the probe proximally in order to make the tendons disappear. This leaves only the posterior tibial nerve and its corresponding artery. The sural nerve can be found just behind the lateral malleolus beside the Achilles tendon. It innervates the lateral foot. With a light touch on the probe, you should see the short saphenous vein and the raspberry-like sural nerve beside it. Sliding the probe up the posterior calf brings both nerve and vein up onto the Achilles tendon, which helps with identification, but it can be blocked at any location. The deep peroneal nerve can be found deep to the flexor retinaculum on the anterior surface of the ankle. It runs lateral to the dorsalis pedis artery for a time before traversing medially across the foot to innervate the first web space. Here we see the artery and the nerve on the lateral side. A needle slips underneath the nerve along the periosteum and the nerve is lifted off the bone with a few mils of local anesthetic. The superficial peroneal nerve, which innervates the dorsum of the foot, is often anesthetized with a field block across the top of the foot after it's branched multiple times. With ultrasound, this nerve is easily seen about 10 centimeters above the ankle on the lateral calf. The nerve can be seen here hanging off the deep fascia of the leg between peroneus brevis and extensor digitorum longus muscles. The fibula often seems to point at the nerve. As the probe is slid distally, the nerve can be seen piercing the fascia and branching. Our preference is to block it in the proximal location prior to the branching. And finally, the saphenous nerve is another one that's easily blocked by subcutaneous field block just above the medial malleolus. With the ultrasound technique, the saphenous vein is found and local anesthetic placed immediately adjacent to it. This nerve is the least visible of the five because it's just so small at this point, but the vein provides a good landmark. Each of these nerves only requires two to three mils of local anesthetic, providing that it's placed in the intermuscular fascial plane where the nerves live. The exception, we often use up to five mils for the posterior tibial as it's the biggest nerve of the group.